Okay, so we here we are looking at something. David is here, so we must yes. be looking at research. Well, that's and it's your question, so you're the one that needs to pose the question to him. Hi, David. So, do you want to pose the question to him? Yeah. Are we hearing you? Are we on live? David, we can't hear you. I haven't said anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was just your mouth moving? Right. Oh. That just happens. No, I, I'm sorry, Madam Chair, I was going to in just introduce myself very briefly for the record. Sure, please do. So my name is David Englander. I'm the Senior Policy and Legal Advisor to the Commissioner of Health, and I'm here to speak to you about H628. Uh, six, six um, this is a um, a measure that is very strongly supported by the department. Um, I, the, I'm, I'm grateful to uh, Representative Small yesterday for walking through the, the brief history of our involvement, um, as well as uh, Tucker Anderson's, of course, um, a perfect walkthrough of the bill. Uh, so this is something that the department very strongly supports, uh, where the implement will be the implementer of the bill. Um, and I'm, I'm delighted to be here to talk to you about it. Thank you, thank you. So we, and I did send you a note about what I thought the question was. Um, and so I think I what I will do is let Senator Clarkson pose the actual question to you since she was the, the one who had the concerns. What matter, uh, I strongly support this bill as well. I think it's great and I, uh, I applaud the work that's been done on it and the interest that's actually been in this body for quite a while on doing this bill, as witnessed by Senator Bray having introduced many times. So I, my concern, David, is research. My concern is what if when there is a major health issue that has come up and that needs to be studied with people who've chosen to change, um, to have a, a, a transition and, and change their gender. What if there is research that needs to be done in the future and it's important is so uh for me one of the issues is that the uh, original birth certificate be maintained and and held confidentially but that it exists and that it is not that it is available in the future for uh, important health research that may emerge about this group of people um, and and just, you know, also there is just, uh, you know, if, if as long, I know, uh, anyway, that's my major concern is, is research going into the future because this is uh, something that is relatively new that this is the new capability in the human race in the last, you know, 50, 40 years. It, it's, and I just think that it is something that we, in case that comes up, we should be able to, have an act, avenue to uh, do the research that may be appropriate. So, Can I just clarify what's a new thing in the human race that wasn't true? Well, I mean, we haven't been able to do certain, you know, people have been able to identify without actually physically changing their sex. They are now with med medical, uh, with all the advances in medicine, mm -hmm. they, people are now actually able to not just identify and say and, and, and what, what, what sex they want to be, but they can actually change yeah. their sex, but which was we not, would not we, we, that would not be related at all to whether right. or not okay. they change it on their birth certificate. But my concern, like you wouldn't have research. to change your organs for right. your, I know that, but I, what the concern is the research on that may conceivably happen uh, with people who have chosen to do that. And if they gave permission to have their original birth certificate, you know, if they, were part of the study for whatever reason that they would that those original birth certificates not be destroyed that is i think the only thing that matters to me uh, yeah I, and i can i i can see that i'm clearly not is, being as articulate as i'd like yeah but, but my I, concern is future research on this group of people that may be important actually for them uh, if they you know if there are reasons to do that and uh, that we make sure we keep the original birth certificate I know I'm digging myself into a hole. I don't mean to. I just mean to ask that question about keeping the original. Person. So I think I can answer your your I can answer your question simply if at length. Um, this, all 
all changes that will, will be made because we have a statewide electronic database will keep track of all that of all of that information. There is all there's a lot of information that's stored within the electronic databases of the Department of Health that are um, that are that essentially that that, are, that hang in the background that are that are disconnected to the birth certificate itself. So the preservation of the birth certificate, first of all, original birth certificates will be preserved and held confidentially. But more important, but more importantly, because these changes will be made following the uh, the existence of the statewide registry system, all that information will be stored, but again, held confidentially. So um, to the extent that researchers are looking for de-identified information with the number of persons who have transitioned, that information would be available. I, I do want to amplify, if I may briefly, Senator Rahm's point, which is that th this sense of there being a binary choice is actually quite a modern concept, and that through centuries there people have existed you know, in, in between spaces and move between spaces. And so, you know, we tend to think of, you know, it, this, this present moment, but, but also to amplify that the second point that she made, which is that we are moving from a system whereby persons had to make physical, medical, psychological um, steps that, that had to be provided to a court in order to make a change. We're, we're doing away with that. And we're saying, and we're recognizing that gender is this 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 conception of self um, and that and that self attestation that a simple easy process for self attestation is in, re reflects the, the the best qualities of, of Vermonters. You're here. So <clears throat> does that um, help you, Senator Clarkson? I mean, does that of course it answer your questions? No, yes. I just okay, 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 good, good, okay. Thank you, Dave. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, so there was something else we were going to, I was going to talk to you about, but I guess it'll be at a later date. So, but it had nothing to do with this. Oh, what, what, whatever you want, Madam Chair. I'm here. I'm just here. Yes. I know. I know. You're easy. So well, I'm, I'm not well, sure he's easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that went out over YouTube everywhere. Now everybody knows. The calls are going to start coming in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David Englander. Thank you, Madam Chair. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the. Please uh, let me pass on the thanks of the commissioner of the department for working on this bill. Yeah. It's a great job. Yeah. We were very happy to do it. Thank you. Take care. Okay. All right. So with that, um, do we have a, um, can we? Move, uh, move the bill. Does somebody yeah. want to make a motion to move? I bill? would move. What number is it? H628. I would move H628 as presented to the Senate Government Operations Committee. Yes, without amendment. Without an amendment. H. Are we ready to vote? Sure. Anybody want to say anything first? Well, just to be clear, though, what we're just what we're doing is we're asking the department to develop to develop a way to do this work to do the identity of first certificates. We're not saying what first certificates will look like. We're charging the department with coming up with what will actually work. And and we are telling them that they have to adopt a simple process to be able to amend it, right. so that there can be a third option. So you can have male, female, and if they call it X or Y or whatever they call that third option, so that you don't have to identify yourself as either male or female, you can, um, and that we are asking them to come up with a simple process for doing that. I just want to be clear that's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So if you think we're doing something, we're actually just asking somebody else to do it. <laughs> we're asking somebody else to do it, but by doing that, we're doing something. Right. We're saying, we're saying, right? We're saying this is a value, and right. we need this significantly yeah. affects a number of Vermonters, and we need to do this. Right. And but they need to set up some rules around right. around right. how to, what the process and how it will work. It so also says that they have, they have to do emergency rules, which is something they can do quickly, right? And then they could always change that when it comes back to the formulas. Um. We're not, I'm not talking about the bill. Yeah, I like yeah, the bill. I'm just yeah, trying to understand yeah the we're, we're telling them they 
And I think they are, were in the process of adopting emergency rules. So what we're saying is that they're emergency rules, but then they have to go through the whole process, process of, uh, but until they do that, the emergency rules will, right. will prevail. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, Senator Rob, do you wanna? Yes, Senator Clarkson. Yeah. <laughs> Senator Colmar. No. Senator Pruitt. Yes. Myself, Senator Rob, still yes. Senator White. Yes. Four, one, zero. And would, um, do you want to report this because your constituent is the, <laughs> is the lead sponsor? The sp lead sponsor. I feel honored to. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think that's the first bill we haven't amended. No, there was one last week. <laughs> well, it's the first one since last week. <laughs> it's the first one this week. I think we did the Essex. No, oh, no, we haven't voted we on haven't it yet. Yeah, because we haven't actually finished. I thought we haven't finished the presentation. Of it. We haven't. Oh, that's Thank right. That's, that's right. for you to write the vote on and then uh, take them upstairs. Okay. Oh, yeah, now we have to. Thank you. Physically take them upstairs. So okay. David just left. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, we are. That took a little less time than I had thought. Um, so we are oh, moving on to Springfield. Thank you.